Hi, this is Melissa with StitchScene.com and I'm going to demonstrate how to work the candy cover stitch pattern. We're going to begin with a foundation chain that is a multiple of four stitches and um, you're going to want to make your foundation chain much longer than this if you're if you're working a gauge swatch. You want to be able to get an accurate um, measurement and you just can't do this with the chain. You can't do that with the chain um, this short in length, but I'm doing so um, for video demonstration purposes. So we're going to begin by working four double crochets into the fourth chain from the hook. So I like to work mine in the back bar of the chain. It's just a personal preference so that I get a nice neat edge along the bottom edge of um, my crocheted fabric. But you can work into your chain however you desire. So we're going to work four double crochets into that chain. We're then going to skip three chains and single crochet into the next chain. We're going to chain two and we're going to work four double crochets into the same chain as the last single crochet. So that would be right here. So let's work four double crochets into that. And that makes four. Next we're going to skip um, three chains again and single crochet into the next chain and we just continue in this manner across the row. We chain two and again we work four double crochets into that same chain as the single crochet we just worked. three and four and we end with a single crochet in the last chain. We're then going to turn our work, that's what we have so far, and we're going to begin with um, chaining five, one, two, and we're going to work four double crochets into the fourth chain from the hook. So that would be the, the second chain that you made in that five chain. So we're going to do that. And we're going to work our four double crochets right there in that second chain. Next, the instructions say that we're going to skip um, four double crochets and we're going to put, um, sorry, you want to make sure that your work doesn't get twisted. Keep it, keep it um, correctly aligned because this, this stitch pattern, these first few rows can twist up on you. So we're going to skip these next four double crochets. And we're going to skip the next two chain and we're actually going to um, single crochet between the last double crochet stitched and the next two chain and so that would be right here we have our four double crochets we have our two chain and we're going to insert our hook between there and we're going to single crochet now we're going to chain two and we're going to work four double crochets into that, into the side of that um, last single crochet worked. So right into that, one, and we're going to do that again um, in case you didn't get it and so that I can explain it a bit more clearly. So we've worked those four double crochets. We're next going to single crochet between the next four double crochets in that chain two space. So we're skipping all this. And we're going to single crochet between there. We're going to chain two. And we're going to work four double crochets into the side of that single crochet. 
and we're just repeating that same stitch pattern across the row. So we're going to skip all this and we work a single crochet into that last um, space between the four double crochets and the chain two. And that ends row two. Now to begin row, um, and then we just repeat that row um, to make the pattern. So let's do it one more time. We're going to chain five. And we're going to work four double crochets in that fourth chain from the hook. Three and four. Then we're going to put our single crochet. Remember, after these four double crochets, but before that chain two. And then we would chain two and again we would work our four double crochets in the side of that um, single crochet and it just kind of comes up with this um, back and forth pattern of um, kind of splayed fans so it's just a really cute cute pattern 